InvestNet is no stranger to pioneering digital financial planning experiences. And to learn more, I'm joined by Rose Palazzo, Group President of Financial Planning for InvestNet. Rose, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So as I mentioned, pioneering uh, incredible experiences on the digital side of things for financial planning when it comes to uh, InvestNet. So I want to talk first about Wealth Studios and what that ultimately means for the space and how it's revolutionizing wealth management. Absolutely. So Wealth Studios is actually the newest component of our Money Guide platform. And what it does is really meet the needs of higher net worth clients and adds cash flow planning and more complex estate planning to the platform. Basically, that allows us to have a single platform that meets the needs of any client from any asset level or any life stage, really. And that was really important to us. So we've got Wealth Studios, that's more complex, adds cash flow planning. We've got Money Guide, kind of our core component, that is goal-based planning. Uh, and then we've got My Blocks, that are more uh, component ties and really can help serve mass affluent clients as well. So you've got a single platform, really, that can meet the needs of all of our clients. Now, when we looked at that segment, though, sort of the detailed cash flow planning and the more complex estate planning, we wanted to change and innovate around how advisors and clients interacted. And so it's much more dynamic. We're taking what was traditionally um, maybe a 300-page report and kind of sitting over a static document to something that's more engaging. Clients can ask questions. You can see the impact of, of strategies. And the technology is really meant to be used with the client directly. Well, and how could you hold someone's attention to with a 300-page 300-page book, yes. Yep. So you mentioned my book, so I want to dive into that too a little bit, and ultimately why it's so appealing to advisors and how it's helping their clients. Yeah, so my blocks started out as a way to componentize planning and get more people engaged. Planning sometimes can be overwhelming, so we could take it in sort of bite-sized chunks and get a client to just think about their goals or maybe um, aggregate their accounts and then collaborate with the advisor around the plan. And it's really extended uh, since then. And so you can think about them as sort of mini or micro planning experiences, about three to five minutes. Some of them are meant to educate a client on a particular topic that might be complex and you can get them to understand that better. Some of them are meant to put a magnifying glass on a particular um, issue and help get right to execution even. So we've got um, blocks that focus on let's say an annuity strategy and how does that help me meet my needs and integrations with platforms like FitX to actually execute on that. Um, blocks also are really fantastic in engaging clients early on so we use them for prospect this year, we launched a new feature called Prospecting Center and a self-registration capability that lets you send blocks out to clients at different topics, have them self-registered, or prospects with different topics, have them self-register, and see on a single dashboard all, the, all of those prospects that may have uh, provided information, that key information, and registered in the experience. So this really sounds like uh, an advice engagement push then, if you will, because it's become such a big topic and it finally seems like there's a category for it, so it's encouraging to hear that, you know, investments really capitalizing on that trend right now. It is, absolutely. So, talk to me a little bit about Money Guide's integration with data and analytics and what that ultimately brings to the table. As we know, data and analytics is, is the gold of our industry right it now. Is. <laughs> it is, and that's one of the most exciting, I think, integrations that we've done recently. We've always been integrated with data aggregation through Yodley and uh, uh, the data from those accounts make it easier to complete a financial plan, make it easier to have the plan sort of be updated. But what we've done recently is to create a planning insights capability that leverages sort of the plan data, which you can think about as all the things that the client wants to do, and that actual account data, which is all the things that the client is doing, put those things together to generate insights for the client and for the advisor, help them identify opportunities. They can do that either per client or across their entire book. That's fantastic, and I know we touched on a little bit, but how have advancements in financial planning software allowed advisors to really engage your clients and truly create that kind of customized, personalized experience that dominate the headlines lately. Yeah, I think the technology is being pushed out to clients more and it's really being leveraged to help with the collaboration. So we just talked about some of the things that we've done with Blocks. Um, we're doing that also with the planning components and making those things available on client portals, getting clients engaged, which can really help with the conversations that you're having with them around advice. The plans helps to personalize advice and that digital engagement helps them to keep them uh, just connected. 
And I was going to say, and, and I'm sure when it comes to retention of those clients too, that experience is probably night and day to be able to have access to uh, technology like that, an advisor that's able to distill it down into something that's you know digestible to the client. So it's it's incredible to see you know where we were to where we are now and the experience. Absolutely. Well, fantastic, Rose. Always a pleasure getting to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. For wealthmanagement.com, I'm Shannon Rosick.